Why are there thousands of people losing weight, drinking a buttery, delicious, frothy, bulletproof coffee every morning? Why? Let's find out. This is Amy with Ketolicious Life. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about MCT oil and our favorite, maybe our bay, I don't know, <laughs> coffee. Yes, coffee. So there is some, um, you've seen it, I'm sure, argument as to whether you should drink bulletproof coffee or whether you should not. And I am not going to argue that you should or shouldn't. You know, that is something that you need to determine um, for your own journey and your own health. I will say that I have had a Bulletproof coffee pretty much every single morning um, on my four-month journey so far. And I have had amazing results. So I wanted to share with you the research I have found and also just what works for me. Um, and what I have seen work for so many others as well. So um, don't be afraid to have your coffee in the morning or if you're intermittent fasting, you can have it later. Um, but don't be afraid to enjoy your coffee. Um, it's actually pretty good for you, studies show. So I'm just gonna get into it a little bit here and show you. Um, this is just what I had in my cupboard. We use this for cooking. This is coconut oil, but I usually get it unrefined because I like the coconut smell and the coconut taste. So for like, if I'm going to use this in my coffee, I will use, um, unrefined. Refined has had those properties removed, extracted out. Like there's no smell and there's no taste, like strong taste. Um, so this one I like for, for cooking or frying or baking because it doesn't have the taste, but it still gives me the oil, um, the coconut oil. So I like, um, let's see, there's no smell at all. No smell at all. 100% um, pure. This is Luana brand coconut oil. Um, it does not say on here refined or unrefined, but this one clearly is refined. I'm just not seeing where it says it, but I know that it is because it doesn't have, it doesn't have the smell at all. Um, so usually the organic unrefined is going to have the coconut smell and the taste. So anyway, um, there's that. I usually have both, but I'm out of my unrefined. I used all of that up. Um, but I keep one usually in the bathroom and I keep one in the kitchen. So, um, I like, to after I get out of the shower, especially after I've shaven my legs, I love to put coconut oil on my skin because it's so good for your skin. So, and then I have 100% pure MCT oil here. Um, this MCT oil has C8 and C10. Um, where is it? There it is. It says it down here, C8 and C10. Um, so, this I got from my health food store, and they actually, this brand Now Sports actually has it in um, also flavored. So if you like like mocha flavor, chocolate flavor, I don't remember. I think they have coconut flavor. So, but I just get the plain because I like to keep it, you know, more simple. So that's the MCT oil that I use. So first of all, there are benefits to coffee alone. Coffee has its own amazing benefits. You know, for starters, it's an appetite suppressant. So the caffeine in coffee actually turns on your fat burning process inside of your body, um, which actually lets your body start to burn fat. So there's a whole scientific process behind that. I'm not gonna get that deep into it here, but if you would like to look that up, definitely check that out. Ca caffeine has its own amazing benefits. If you hear little squeaks and squawks, that's my bird over here. Um, so, you know, just those two things alone are good for just for caffeine. Plus, hello, it tastes really good. It tastes good. Um, so MCT oil, MCT oil. 
what it is what does it do it gives you instant energy and why because those the c8 and the c10 those medium chain triglycerides that's what mct stands for is medium chain triglycerides there's c8 and c10 in your mct oil and what that does is it goes into your system as you drink it and it goes immediately to your liver to be processed and it gets processed very fast into ketones and then your body is just able to use those ketones way faster than any other method um, coconut oil the difference between MCT and coconut oil, coconut oil contains mostly C12, which is lauric acid. And that's not a bad thing. Lauric acid is amazing for your skin. And there's lots of great benefits that goes along with coconut oil too. I'm not saying that it's bad at all. All I'm saying is that the difference is that MCT oil, they have extracted out the C8 and the C10 carbons, which is what we mainly used for energy and it gets processed into energy much faster. So those two carbons that are in the MCT oil, they're not only extracted out, they're concentrated and they're a much pure, more pure form of it. So we're able to take those oils and use them immediately for our energy. Um, so they're processed in the liver very fast. They support hormones. Our body, and this is something that a lot of women especially, and probably men too, because they have hormones, obviously, but, you know, w many women have hormonal imbalances. It's so common. And I really honestly feel that it is from a lack of a healthy fat diet. If you are depriving your body of fats, you're depriving your hormones from working properly. They're not going to work. So you're depriving your body of those fats that are needed to make your hormones reproduce and just to make them work properly. Our hormones need fat. So this MCT oil supports hormones. Um, it's pro since it's processed in our digestive system so quickly, it bypasses the normal process of having to go through bile and then, you know, just sort of the slow track to get to the liver and you know all of that it bypasses that um so i know for myself that i have digestive issues i do not digest foods like a normal person or you know 100 percent healthy i have um bile issues my gallbladder has issues I have the MTHFR gene mutation, which if you don't know what that means, that means that I, I am not able to digest certain vitamins correctly or at all, and I'm very deficient in some of those vitamins. Um, so the fact that I already know I have digestive issues and I'm not absorbing or digesting certain nutrients and vitamins um, in the natural way, MCT oil is helping me get those fats into my cells that I otherwise probably would not be getting. So um, for that alone, I'm sold on the MCT oil. Um, that is just amazing. So MCT oil is basically extracted from coconut or palm oil. And what they are getting from that is your C8 and your C10. And, um, coconut oil has a bunch of the medium chain triglycerides. Um, and those are, I have them here, let me see. So um, it's gonna contain, your coconut oil is gonna have caproic acid, which is C6, caprylic acid, which is C8, capric acid, C10, and lauric acid, C12. So the, the two carbons that give us the most energy, um, you know, studies have shown, is your C8 and your C10. So that is why in the MCT oil, those two have been extracted out and they're in the MCT oil as a concentrated form. Um, now the other thing about MCT oils is we've already talked that they go through your digestive system quickly. They get the red carpet treatment because they go straight through your system. Did you know that MCT oils move through your body via the, if I can say it correctly, hepatic portal system? You don't know what that is I'll try to put a little blurb here to show you what that is um, 
Um, it, this means they get first class treatment and red carpet treatment and they get sent directly into your body via that hepatic portal system. It's just how they are treated because they're already um, extracted in the that C8 and the C10 form. They're ready to go. Like the body's like, yes, you can come right on through. <laughs> so that is why we get the instant energy. We feel good. And I'm, I'm going to bet that as we're getting that instant energy, our hormone cells are getting the fat that they need, that they so desperately need. Just because you're eating and consuming fat, it doesn't always mean that your body is getting the fat it needs. I mean, we don't know how our digestive systems are working. So for me, I have seen dramatic results from having MCT oil. So it's just been amazing for me. So as we know, it, coconut oil is antiviral, antimicrobial, anti um, bacterial, so it's really good for those properties and it's good for your skin and your hair. Um, we also know that since they are extracting the C8 and the C10 and putting it up here in the MCT oil, that makes, you know, MCT oil is also antibacterial and antiviral. So putting that in our digestive system and it's going to help our gut out quite a bit to have that as well because it's going to get rid of the bad, the bad bacteria. So you know, in conclusion, I would say enjoy your bulletproof coffees. If you like them and you are having the results that you want to have on this keto journey, if you're losing weight and you're feeling um, your mood's increasing, your energy is increasing, then don't stop it just because someone tells you to stop it. Um, I have seen thousands of people lose weight drinking bulletproof coffees every single morning, sometimes two a day. Um, so I am very much an advocate of bulletproof coffees. I'm very much an advocate of MCT oils because of how our body uses those. Um, we are not going to get the same benefits from foods. Foods are going to have to go the whole, a whole different process to get to where they can provide us that that energy, those ketones. MCT oil is going to give us instant energy and it's going to increase your ketones. There's studies that have shown that people that consume MCT oils, their ketones increased substantially at, in comparison to just consuming normal fats. So MCT oils are beneficial. Um, I am going to also um, show you guys how I use my MCT oil as a salad dressing because why not like seriously you don't have to just have it in your coffee have it in your salad so we'll be doing that too this sometime this week hopefully um, but yeah this is an amazing way to start your morning um, a bulletproof coffee if you are not a breakfast eater but you love your coffee this is an amazing way to start your morning because you're going to be satiated um, you're going to get the energy, your, your hormone cells are going to get the fat that they need so that they can do their job. Um, just all the way around, this is a healthy thing. It's a healthy choice. Um, so don't, you know, let any of the naysayers sort of sway you one way or the other. Um, do your own research on it and try it out. If it doesn't work for you, then by all means, you know, don't, don't do it. But um, it's not something you have to do on keto or something that you don't have to do. It's a complete preferential choice, totally up to you. Um, for many, I've seen it help them, and I have seen very few people say that they gained weight on Bulletproof coffees. Um, unless you're consuming Bulletproof coffees with, you know, all your meals, <laughs> you, I mean, they, they have calories there. It's not like they're zero carbs, zero. I mean, you know, your cream has a little bit of carbs. They're not zero calories, people. They still have calories in them and they still have fat. So you still need to count that in your macros. If you're if you're gaining weight on the keto diet, don't blame the, the Bulletproof coffee. Um, look at your macros and find out where you're going wrong. If you're consuming too much cream, don't blame the Bulletproof coffee. 
blame the cream or reduce the cream. It's just that you need to you need to figure out what works for you and if you love your coffee don't give it up. Just include it in your day and um, use it in a way that will help you. So a lot of times I will have a coffee first thing in the morning. Um, I do intermittent fasting but not every single day. I try to do it like maybe three days a week where I um, fast for 18, 16 to 18 hours is kind of where I like to stay in. Um, so I'll, I will fast and then not have a coffee in the morning and I'll just have water. And then um, around, you know, usually around noon or one, depending on when I, you know, ended my, my last eating, um, my last meal, I will um, usually I'll have a bulletproof coffee to start to start my day because at that point that's when I need my energy especially if um, you know I'm gonna go work out or I'm gonna whatever I'm gonna do in my day that bulletproof coffee is going to give me that energy that I need so I will usually at that point if I'm fasting I will have I will break my fast with a bulletproof coffee and if I'm still hungry or maybe an hour or two later then I will have my first meal so that's how I use Bulletproof coffees, and so far they have helped me, they've given me energy, they've given me fat that my body, I know my body desperately needs because I have horrible, horrible hormonal imbalances. Um, that is a fact. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's helped me a lot, and I just wanted to pass along hopefully just some real basic information, not too deep, not too in-depth. If you want um, some real deep scientific information on all of that. I will link a YouTuber. His name is Thomas Delauer. Delauer, I'm Delauer. I think I'm saying it right. But he is so cool. He gets real scientific and breaks it all down for you, so you can see what's actually happening in your body. But it's pretty cool. So I'll link him below um, to one of his uh, videos on this topic. So what do I put in my bulletproof coffee? I will link my bulletproof coffee um, video here for you to check out and basically I just brew my coffee I use a um, Keurig so um, I like to get different flavors I have hazelnut and I brew that up and then I add um, my MCT oil I'll add one tablespoon of butter to that and then I will add my sweetener which I like to use stevia because stevia does is known to not spike your glucose and I have tested my glucose after drinking coffee with my Keto Mojo and my glucose is nice and low so I know that I am not getting a spike um, and um, then I add a little splash of cream I don't even put that much just a, probably I'd say about a, tea, a tablespoon um, so yeah I do that and then I blend that all up with an emulsifier I don't have one of those cute little blenders yet but I'm gonna get one and I blend that all up make it nice and frothy and I incorporate all those oils into the coffee you don't want to not blend it because it will just have a layers of oil sitting on the top and it will not taste good so um, I use um, that's it and I just that's how I enjoy my bulletproof coffee and it's very simple so if you want to check out that video um, check that out and I hope you all enjoy your bulletproof coffees and get the energy that you deserve and the energy that you need. So thanks for tuning in and watching. Give me a big old thumbs up if you agree with all of this. And leave me a comment below. Do you drink Bulletproof coffees? And do you notice results? Do you notice energy? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great one. And we'll see you soon. Mwah.